Hey guys, it's Haley and welcome to another bookish video. Today is actually November 8th and I am reading November 9th. Wow, can you believe it? Yes, that is the whole concept behind this reading vlog. It's the, it's the, don't you get it? Okay, cool. So I actually got into this last night and I plan on reading the rest of it today and tomorrow. I just wanted to give myself a little bit of time so I'm not gonna binge this whole thing on uh, November 9th. It's simply not gonna happen. But if you don't know what this book is about, first of all, it's by Colleen Hoover and I'm really getting into her romances lately. The plot of this book follows two people who meet on the day that the that one of them, one of the people in the relationship is moving across the country. So it follows two 18 year olds. Their names are Fallon and Ben. Wow, can you believe? I remembered some character names. Once in a blue moon it happens and it just so happened to happen today. Just so happened to happen today. Wow, I love that for me. Um, <laughs> Fallon and Ben meet on the day when Fallon is about to move from LA to New York to try to be on Broadway. I did not know that that was a part of this story, so when I started reading, I just fell in love with this book automatically because, hello, I love things that feature musical theater. So, I really enjoy that. I also think both Fallon and Ben are very complex characters so far. They sound like they're very fully realized, which is why I like a lot of Colleen Hoover books. Her characters are never one-dimensional. And yeah, I'm about a quarter of the way through. I just finished like their first November 9th and Fallon just moved. And already I'm so attached to this relationship and they're gonna meet up every November 9th for the next like five years. That's the way they're gonna keep in touch because they don't wanna start a long-term relationship on that day when Fallon was moving and it would have to be long distance. So I love the concept, I love the characters. Uh, when I first started reading actually, I was kind of put off by the fact that the characters were 18. It's kind of a younger perspective for me to read from and I don't usually like reading from a YA perspective, but this doesn't feel as YA the more you get into it. I would call this more new adult. Um, and I really like it now that I'm into it and I know Fallon's and Ben's voices a little bit better. The chapters alternate Ben Fallon, Ben Fallon from their different perspectives. And usually I don't like a male perspective, but something about Ben, I don't know. I can see him being another book boyfriend for me because I really like his perspectives and getting his inner thoughts. He seems like he has some kind of like unresolved trauma or something that's gonna come up later in the book and I cannot wait. I think it's gonna be absolutely wonderful and um, I'm excited for it. So I'm going to read probably to the 50% mark and then I will update you with more thoughts. Not me walking around my apartment complex. Sorry, I had to push the elevator button with my foot because Corona. Someone fucking walked up on me while I was filming in the hallway, so now I'm in the elevator. I'm about to take promo photos of this book for my book club. Hopefully we can find a cute spot. Okay, found this cute little hiking trail like right by my house. I feel like that looks cute. It's like a hiking trail with the trees and it's like the thing leads into this, you know? Wow, a path. So, I did that. Yay! <laughs> I'm so embarrassing, honestly. I'm so embarrassing, but hey, this is just the life of a YouTuber. <laughs> mm, I need to back up. Dude, you could have filmed on a roof, that it would have been such a pretty aesthetic. I've actually been thinking about that, but I don't want people to like walk up there. And you're in the middle of like holding a phone. And I'm like, hey guys. They walk out and they're like, hey guys. And they're like, we don't know you. Yeah, no, don't want that. Okay, so it's a little bit later and I am halfway through November. Stop! <laughs> it is. Just restart, just cut it, let's laugh. Let's laugh a little bit. <laughs> let's have a laugh. Just you, can, like, just you can stop filming on this. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. 
<laughs> stop looking at me. You have to stop looking at me though. Like literally don't make a face because I can see it out of the corner of my eye. And yeah, but you're gonna be watching and then you'll go and the side of your mouth will flicker. So I, stop! <laughs> I can't not feel when you're looking at me. Hey guys, so it is a little bit later and I am halfway through November 9. I just got through their like second November 9 meetup that they've had. And I'm obsessed with this book. I love it so much. This is probably one of my favorite romances of all time. Definitely my favorite Colleen Hoover romance that I've read. I don't count Verity as a romance, but Verity still takes my top spot for my favorite Coho book. But this is definitely my favorite romance that I've read by her. I am just so immersed in the story and attached to the characters. Every time like one of them says that they like went on dates in their real life before they like re-meet up with each other on November 9th, I'm like, <sighs> like my heart hurts. I like get palpitations of like, no, but you're supposed to be together. And I think they really are gonna end up together, but there's like some sus things going on with Ben and like his family and like his brother just punched him in the face randomly and Fallon was like, what's happening? So there are many things set up that I feel like are going to all explode at the same time. It's doing a really good job at building anticipation for that moment and I love it. That is my 50% update. And yeah, I'm gonna go do a few things. Maybe I'll take you along um, throughout my day and I will update you the next time I read, probably when I'm at the 75% mark because that's just been working out well every 25%. See you later. So I just randomly decided to bake a cake. Who is she? Great British Bake Off who? So I'll update you and tell you if it's good, I guess. So I made a poke cake. She had to chill in the fridge for like three hours or something like that. So it's been a while, but here she is. Um, I love her. She's a dark chocolate cake. Filled the little pokes with pudding and hot fudge. And then we have a little whipped topping filled with chocolate chips. If you're a chocolate lover, you got to make this. As you can see, we've already ate like part of it. It's literally so good. <laughs> It's so good. Isn't it so good? I look homeless. But isn't it so good? It's good. Yay. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Is this seat taken? Are you sleeping, sir? Okay, sorry. Sorry, sorry. I guess I'll have to sit somewhere else. Hello and happy official November 9th. It is November 9th. I'm reading this book. Just a little. So to give you some context, I left off, I was reading a little bit more last night and I read a little bit more this morning. Hmm, I just left off um, where my heart is a tad broken and I can't even get my thoughts together because I thought that I had reached the conflict of the book at the third November 9th. And then I thought, no, 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 you know, that was too small. It'll be fine. They're gonna recover. Um, the big conflict is gonna be the 4th, November 9th. So I thought, you know, that I was correct, you know? And then they faked me out again. And that wasn't the really like actual big conflict. And now we're at the big conflict. We are at the big, big conflict. And I didn't think it could get bigger than the 4th, November 9th. But now we're at the 5th. I just got done with the 5th, November 9th. We are at the 6th November 9th, right now. I'm about to read the 6th, 6th November 9th. I just read the 5th, I can't even get my words. <sighs> this, why do these people never get on the same page at the same time? Y'all are literally meant to be together, so why are there so many miscommunications and things that are never happening but at the same time? Does that make sense? I don't think it did. But um, this book is ripping my heart out currently um, and tearing it to shreds. So I feel that talking a little bit of gibberish right now is necessary. Um, I cannot believe 
what is happening in this book and how attached I am to these characters and how much I'm rooting for them to be together, even though they've only spent five damn days together in their entire life. Like, am I crazy? Am I okay? No, I'm fine. Colleen Hoover is just a really good author. Like I, woo, I really like this romance a lot. I have not rooted for two people to stay together in a romance like this since maybe The Hating Game. And that is my favorite romance of all time. So if that tells you anything about how much I love this book, I mean, I just really think that they can't come back from this. I think, actually, no, here's what I think. I think Fallon jumped the gun on something. I don't wanna spoil this book at all, um, but I think Fallon jumped the gun on something that she doesn't quite understand and never gave Ben a chance to explain. But I think when he explains, hopefully it'll be a happily ever after, I don't know. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is skipping ahead to see if the 6th November 9 is the last one. And if it is, then I think that they'll stay together. Ooh. The last one says the last November 9. So what does that mean? 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 Oh my God, I just need to read this damn book. <laughs> Um, I had other things that I was going to do before I finished this book, but you know, I'm a little over 75% of the way done. Like I can read a good 20% of a book before I have to do everything I need to do. Okay. I'm trying to justify my procrastination. I'm not even going to justify it. I'm just going to go read this book because I need to know what happens. So you're not going to get a ton of like vlog footage or B-roll that I had planned on filming because I'm just going to read this and get back to you because I feel that that would benefit you guys more than seeing some B-roll from the things that I actually need to do today. So see you in a minute and we'll see if my soul is crushed. So if you so see, you my, see little, my little uh, patches, patches in my foundation, my foundation, it's because I uh, had some rolling, rolling tears. tears. Hello? I never, okay, I will tear up at books a lot, but I rarely have rolling tears. I tried to touch up my highlight because tears were literally rolling, rolling down my face, rolling like a fucking river. Colleen Hoover? How dare you take my heart, put it in your hands, squeeze it, wring it out, and then put it back into my heart, into my chest once again. I have not read much Colleen Hoover, so I don't know if she does this in all of her books, but the big old miscommunication and it ends on a wonderfully heartfelt letter. Does that happen in every book? And are you gonna sob in every letter? Because that happened during All Your Perfects for me and November 9 for me, okay? This is not a spoiler, but there's a big old letter. Big old letter at the end. Ooh, when I was crying. Ooh, I was crying. This is five stars. This book is simply so good. It had me rooting for the characters. It had me understanding both of their point of views. At neither point was either of them like fully in the wrong or fully in the right. I just think they're both people. And I love that Colleen Hoover just makes people people in her books. Like her characters all seem so believable, but in like a perfectly cheesy, almost like romance novel setting. Like, it's cheesy, but it's not like Hallmark cheesy. It's like, yes, this is actually happening in real life. And it's weird that it's happening in real life because it's so much like a romance novel that we're gonna like recognize the fact that this is so much like a romance novel, but it is a romance novel. Like, I don't know. It just seems very self-aware and her characters seem real because they're aware of the fact that they're almost unbelievable but they're so nuanced as well that they do seem real. I, am I making sense? Like her characters are so nuanced and flawed, but you still end up rooting for the people who you're supposed to root for to be together. And they're both good people, but they both have trauma. I love the discussions of trauma and grief in this book. Obviously y'all know that's my shit. Like that is what I'm 
going to school for, that is what I do in my work, is um, work with grief and trauma. So I think that this was really well depicted. Obviously it's a very extreme situation because it is a work of fiction, but I don't doubt that this could happen in extreme circumstances in real life. And I think the way that it was handled was very accurate. Um, if you wanna come from a therapist point, point of view, um, that's what I think about this book and I loved it and it's five stars and uh, oh God, the end. Just like the themes of forgiveness, I think whether, this is not a spoiler, but I think whether or not they were gonna stay together or not, which I'm not gonna say what they did in this vlog because I, you need to read it. Um, the Just the forgiveness that they have for each other and the way that they are able to admit to their own shortcomings and meet the other where they are is just beautiful. I just love this book and I just want to go cry about it some more, but now I have to do things today. I'm literally about to start crying again. What is wrong with me? Okay, this chaotic vlog needs to be done. But just know that I absolutely love and recommend this book. This is one of my favorite romances ever. I didn't really understand the hype around Colleen Hoover. I read Verity, loved it. It's one of my top of the year that I read this year in 2020. I absolutely loved Verity, but I'm like, okay, she can write a thriller, but I don't get the hype with her romances. Like every romance that I've read, I'm not like super attached to it. Well, until her, because now I'm super attached to this book and I understand the obsession with Colleen Hoover. I love this book. Okay, the end. <laughs> um, Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and watching me read November 9 on November 9th. I had so much fun reading this book and hanging out with you guys. Make sure to like this video and subscribe if you liked hanging out with me too. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.